About a month ago, the media tried to push out that the Young and May character was pregnant. They conduct these type of experiments on the masses to confuse people. This is an openly inverted character that is supposedly based female but presents self as male confusement does multiple jokes like this one right here putting an eyelash as a fake beard it's confusement and as you guys can see from that live stream comment section which is obviously control all these laughing faces lol as if that's funny and that's how they get people with agenda is by laughing they make it funny and you just accept that's the gold they make it funny so people can just accept and right here was photos photoshopped of her pregnant this is a very sick sight and people are normalizing this in their head when five, 10 plus years ago, this would actually be the weirdest thing ever. But now people have normalized the weirdest things into their reality. This is very weird and this is their full agenda. It's confusement. They want the minds to be confused because if you have a confused mind, you cannot even decide what is right or what is wrong. It's an agenda on gender. Young M.A. and Jim Jones are the exact same as you guys can see from the side by side right here. They also have another character, which is Eartha Kitt. The character Young M.A physical appearance comes from Jim Jones and Eartha Kid. Her middle name is Casanova. Casanova just so happens to link to pronouns and demon. That's ironic because in this article she explains why she does not need to label herself with pronouns etc. Make sure you guys go check out my Demi Lovato video where I talk about the entire gender agenda, how they're pushing massive confusion. They love to push confusion. And if they can confuse people on gender and make you be confused about what you're seeing, they can push pretty much anything. Young M.A. just happens to equal 33 in the reduction cipher. This shows that this character is obviously pushing a huge agenda. 33 links to masonry. Another connection is that Jim Jones and Young M.A. are both from New York. He's from the Bronx and she is from Brooklyn. So on Google, the people also ask section, the first question when you type in Young May's name is how do you pronounce her name? A lot of people think it's Ma, which would be super weird considering that she is a invert. So Young M-A, it's how you pronounce it. And a huge connection that I noticed with this pronunciation, Young M-A, it sounds like May. Eartha Kitt's middle name is May, Eartha May. So that's a huge connection that the stage names are similar. So M-A, May, very similar. So May Kid matches to Young and May's last name and it matches to Death with 25. That shows that her character was obviously scripted to die because she died December 25th. So I used all the ciphers to match Young and May to certain terms. Young M-A spelled out like how it's pronounced matches to Pass Away, Eartha Kid scripted because she's a scripted character skull and bones obviously it would match to that because she's involved pushing a massive agenda it matches to aries because her character is an aries it matches to cancer because jim jones is a cancer it also matches to jim jones full name it matches to dying staged dead rapper i believe that she is going to be a dead faker or Jim Jones will be a death faker, either or. But I could see them killing both of them, honestly, taking their characters off. Also matches to fake, she's a fake character. Passing, there's a lot of death terminologies that this matches to. And it also matches to arrested, which is ironic considering that she was arrested along with Jim Jones being arrested. All celebrities somehow seem to have a mugshot. It's some kind of sympathy pool, energy harvest when they get arrested. The next term is killing, it matches to that. Jim Jones, a death and agenda, because she is pushing a huge agenda. Young M.A. equals 38. Christmas equals 38. Murder equals 38. Eartha Kitt died on Christmas. Young M.A. does so much mockery towards coming from the character Eartha Kitt. And before I show this connection, I would like to say that Eartha Kitt has multiple characters they use eartha kids physical attributes in a lot of different characters that they make these are all made characters they are not real they are fake artificial made vessels they are literally made fakely they are made from other famous characters that they have already put out before okay so what they did here is they took eartha kid and they took jim jones put it together and made this young ma character and she also looks like way more people but that was a main two characters that they used to make 
her character, this young and made character, all right? In my Haley Bailey video, which will be linked in the card above, in that video, I showed more of Eartha Kitt's characters, which is Haley Bailey, of course, Willow, Sway Lee, Andre Day, etc. She has so many characters, but in this video, the main focus is this young and made character because they are extremely similar and there's so much mockery. For example, right here, this is a TikTok that young M.A. has, and she was basically talking to this fake Santa. Kind of weird because Eartha Kid has a song called Santa Baby, which was a huge song. Young May posted this promo for her live stream performance, and it is Christmas themed. The sign outside the house says M.A. Workshop, M.A.'s Workshop, so it's like May's Workshop. So Kid and Pass Away match together with the number 48. The prime number 48 is 223, which correlates to 322, which is the number in the logo of Skull and Bones. And that's ironic because Young Yume has a skull tatted on her. Earth the Kid matches to Skull and Bones. And I just showed you guys how her name and pass away both equal 48. The prime number of 48 is, is 223. And that is also the same number that is presented in the logo of Skull and Bones. But it is switched around. And Eartha Kid also matches to Jim Jones' full name. Also matches to LGBT. And their character, Young M.A., is a part of that agenda. And it also matches to passing. There was quite a few memes about how Young M.A. and... Jim Jones look alike so it says whole time she was Jim Jones daughter in a sense it's like that but it's not her actual dad because they've already presented this fake family that they come from so now we're gonna get into connections that they have with other people so right here is young M.A. and Nicki Minaj here's an old photo of Nicki Minaj and she's holding a magazine that has Jim Jones on there very ironic. Young and May was oddly with Halle Berry. Halle Berry played Catwoman in the 2004 film. The first black Catwoman was actually Eartha Kitt, which is super ironic that Young and May comes from Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt was the first, in quotations, black Catwoman. Halle Berry played Catwoman in 2004. So here's photos of Young and May doing massive symbolism. Of course, she's doing a one eye. And then right here, she's doing a one eye again on purpose. Something that I found interesting is that Jim Jones' first and middle name matches to Dine with 76. So he most likely is going to be a death faker. Jim Jones' full name matches to Jim Jones. So that shows that his stage name is scripted. It was meant for him to have that stage name. It's not organic. It's not natural. This shows how disgenuine they are and how scripted they are. And also matches to Eartha Kid. Dead Rapper matches to Young May's last name with 88, which shows that she's going to obviously be a future death faker, aka a dead rapper. Her first and middle name matches to scripted. She's a scripted character, of course. And then her first name matches to killing, scripted event, and her last name. The fact that her first name matches to her last name shows that her entire name is scripted. She even matches to scripted event, so she's going to be involved in some type of scripted event if not multiple, and she matches to killing. So before I get into this next connection, I do want to mention that Jim Jones' appearance also comes from Mike Epps and all of Mike Epps' other characters. So make sure you guys go check out my video about Mike Epps and Conscious X video about Mike Epps. So Kodak has a song called Pimpin' Ain't Easy. And in that song, he's in a sense flirting with Young and May. And it's extremely weird because her character is inverted and presents itself as a male. And this is all a sick joke because it's confusion. All right. It's pushing an agenda of massive confusion like I talked about in the beginning with this character. So both James Brown and Eartha Kid pass away on Christmas. Kodak Black comes from James Brown. Make sure you guys go check out my videos about that. And it is weird that she passed away in 2008 and he passed away in 2006 so right here i made a collage of their death dates and it's the same day okay on christmas and make sure you guys get to patreon i will be posting a video about christmas so december 25th 2008 which is the entire date of eartha kid's death matches to christmas and scripted event completely fake completely fake the fact that it even matches to christmas so another person that connects 
these characters is Remy Ma. So here's Remy Ma and Young M A, and they even have a song together. Remy Ma and Jim Jones are together right here, as you guys can see. Huge connection. And here's a photo of Jim Jones doing massive symbolism. He's doing a six over the one eye. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of you guys so much. Make sure you guys go check out my ebook and the Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You got Hello. Hey. For me, right? Baby girl Hello. got a dog pair, man. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. She's in, she in the game, Come on, man. Oh. Come on, man. That's all I do. Black shades. I got some with me right now, too. And now I got these. I got the big vamps. Ooh.